Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. This course is common for all the students of CSE, IT, CSE related branches like CSE, Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning, Data Science, IoT. And this course is basically for all the students of second year. And here this video is related to the important questions about the AKTU external examination. So I'll be telling you the important questions and how to prepare for the examination to score good marks. Let us begin. First, let me tell you about the question paper format. Your question paper will be of three hours duration and total marks will be 100. There will be three sections, section A that would be of 20 marks. In section A, there will be 10 questions, short questions and two marks each. There is no choice, you have to attempt all the questions. In section B, that is related to the 30 marks. Out of 5 questions, you need to attempt 3 questions and each question is having a weightage of 10 marks, means 30 marks total. Section C, that is of 50 marks, you will be getting 5 questions. All the questions you need to attempt but in each and every question, there will be an internal choice. So, total 50 marks, section C. So, that is how the total 100 mark question paper. Now, let us talk about the section A. Section A where you will be getting the 10 questions of 2 marks each. So, you have to be very much appropriate to the point you need to describe. Because for 2 mark question, you need to write 2 to 3 lines. So, you need to prepare all these important questions. As I have uh, mentioned over here, what do you understand by computer organization or computer architecture? What is bus arbitration? When you have to be asked, list. It means you have to write down the names only. No need to define. You must prepare about microprogram sequencer, differentiate between SRAM, DRAM, all the topics you must have studied. But here you have to prepare for two mark questions. So related to section A, you will be getting 10 questions. So I have prepared 20 sample questions for you. So these are the 20 sample questions related to the section A. And each and every topic you must have studied, just you have to revise. Now, let us talk about section B and C. In section B, you will be getting five questions. So, you have to appear, attempt three questions. While in section C, you have to attempt five questions. There will be internal choice means in total, you have to attempt eight questions, right? And each and every question is of 10 marks. So here I have listed out 19 sample questions, which is very, very important because out of 13 means here you'll be getting five questions out of that three here you will be getting 10 questions. It means out of 15, you have to attempt eight questions, right? So here I have listed out 19 sample questions and all the questions you must have studied. Just go through with it. I have prepared the videos also. So the videos are also available on the like uh, YouTube channel. So you can refer to them also. These are all the important questions related to the section B and C. 10 mark each, it means you have to explain in detail. You need to draw the relevant diagram. You need to explain the diagram also. If you are drawing the diagram only, you will be getting partial marks. If you are writing the explanation and you are not drawing the relevant diagram, you will be getting the partial. So, it is better draw the relevant diagram and explain each and every question point wise. And students, my advice is you, when you are appearing for the examination, so initially attempt section B and C. Don't start the section A in the starting because section A is of 20 marks only. So start section B and C, appear those questions, prepare first for 30-40 marks, then try to score it. And in last 45 minutes, just focus on the section A, write down the relevant points, the important one only as per the two mark questions and that is the best way to appear for the examination and you will be getting the good marks. So as I have told you in the starting attempt section B and C then go for section A 
time management is very very important because th this is a very lengthy paper because here in the theory also you'll be getting uh, some lengthy questions even for the numericals also so good luck for your examination and do your best all the best students